Welcome back, everybody! I couldn't find Edgeworth, unfortunately. He just... He's still hidden. Dick Gumshoe didn't decide to find him at all. He's just like... He's gonna stand here all day just because I feel like it's my own business. Oh! It's Edgeworth! He yeah, just... Gumshoe gave birth. <laughs> How did he do that? Mr. Edgeworth, where were you? I've been looking for you all day. The last 24 hours have been lost on me now. You're an idiot. Just talk to the guy. Ah, oh, I, I don't know anymore. Did you finish taking his statement yet? Yep, all done, sir. <clears throat> right, okay, wait, wait, okay. How, how do I do this again? I do not concern if you're not examining the cargo hold. I want my cargo back. All right. I say so. Well, first of all, are you aware that I'm a lawyer? You, I can say you have a gut to show me a piece of water this time. But from a single glance, I can already tell it's mostly worthless. Huh, this is much more value as a piece of non art, I assure you. You look like you have something to say. Perhaps you are thinking like casting pearls before swine. You actually hit the nail on the head for once. Huh, go figure. Ah, so you are finally paying my wish and money. Sorry, but there's absolutely nothing inside this wallet. That's not true. Well, I don't know, they might have taken the passport out of it, you don't know. I'm How sure dare you are you? It. What? I'm pretty sure you can still open it and see that the passport's in it. They won't let me. I tried. You wanna see? See, they won't even let me check it. I mean, maybe they, maybe they will. <laughs> You're an idiot. <laughs> oh wait, crud, I couldn't examine the password. I didn't even do that yet. Yeah, you did, it's just gonna show a picture of him. I know, but I haven't examined it. Who's the password? Oh. <laughs> did you just turn into Sylvester Stallone? This is the password, it's already in there. <laughs> anyway... How dare you! You are wanting to trick me! I will sue you for fraud! Mr. LeBlanc, are you seriously considering a courtroom tango with me? I hope not, but in case you are, there is a certain lawyer I can introduce you to. <laughs> why? Why? What? Why Why would you get Phoenix Wright as his attorney? Because this is a case that even Phoenix couldn't win, <laughs> and he wants um, to beat him. Oh, I see. <laughs> What is it? Do you have some use for me? Well, too bad for Phoenix, he only covers murder trials. <laughs> he doesn't cover suing. Not necessarily. Well, just we've never seen him cover trial. anything other than a murder trial. Well, technically a, a theft, too, but I mean... I mean, at this point... That well, theft at, turned at, into a murder trial, so it doesn't really count. At this point in the series, it, it, do you assume he's only done 15 cases, 14 cases, somewhere around there? Yes. <laughs> no. Honestly, yes. You seem to not understand. I have no time to waste. Let me put it another way. The attempt says dead largent. There, maybe another language will get through your head. Don't say cest. Cest. It's say. What is that language? It's not Borgian, apparently. Oh. I understood you perfectly fine in English. I don't have to say so. I don't, I don't really believe you, Edgeworth, but if you say so, then that's cool, I guess. So anyway, is anything Christ. else... What? I have no tact whatsoever. Is anything else gonna make him react? I wonder about that. I have no tact. What the heck does that mean? Don't worry about it. I want to know. I don't know the meaning Can of your... Can you show me? I don't know the meaning of your fancy words, good sir. <laughs> tact is not a fancy word. It is in my book. I've never... I mean, I've heard of it. I just don't know what it means. Like, well, what? How did you graduate college? How did you graduate high school? I don't know. Hey! Hey! Uh... <laughs> Mr. LeBlanc, can you please take a look at this for me? Hmm. Whoa, it's a Borgidian cloth. As I suspected, your hat is made of the same material, I suppose. Yes, of course. This fabric is so famous, orders come from overseas for more! But he clocked it up, didn't want organize it, so that was actually a good thing to do after all, go figure. I was gonna say to do it if you didn't, but I, uh, I expected you to anyway. Good. Well, then this is the cargo you were talking about earlier. Talking? 
No, no, no. My cargo is shot as much, much many gigantic. You detected that was all sorts of wrong. When can I have my cargo moved? You can get your cargo back when we're done investigating, pal. The stubbornness of you police is no good. Yeah, there's no good that a tenant refuses. The fuses are the exit of the attendant's room, too. An attendant? I wonder if he's talking about Miss Tenero. Maybe... Long's cut. If you make a single scratch of my arse, you will pay. Art? What sort of art? Mr. LeBlanc's an art dealer. So he's got a bunch of artwork down in the cargo hold, sir. There's practically a mountain of them, large and small. From folk costumes to stone statues, I sell all kinds of arts. Folk costumes? Speaking of which, Mr. LeBlanc's hat. It kind of looks like that other piece of cloth. Hey, idiot, show him the cloth. <laughs> Why would he make mention of that now? What did you mean by that attendant, Mr. LeBlanc? She was taken into the attendant's room for an interview. And then well, they still have not come out. They make no sign of coming out either. I was finished with my own interview much earlier. Quicker than her. Why is Miss Tenero interview the only one that's taking up so much time? That was not- We don't need apostrophe S's. <laughs> yeah, we don't. Miles Edgeworth, you were given free reign to examine the plane, weren't you? Yes, I was able to attain the cooperation of the flight attendants. Speaking of attendants, I'd like to speak with Miss Tenero. I wonder if you might grant me permission to enter the flight attendant's room. Hmm. Before I do, you still have to clear up a few issues surrounding your own circumstances. I understand. You may have tricked those attendants with your sophisticated talking, but you can't pull the wool over my eyes, Miles Edgeworth. Alright. Really? Oh my gosh. Time for an argument. Argument. Francisca's logic. Let's not complicate things and fill with the most obvious conclusion. The scene of the crime was here, in the very lounge the body was discovered. From the crime of the victim, the scene of the crime of the victim was Calling an attendant until his body was found. The only person in this lounge the entire time was you, Mayor Edgeworth. This unmistakably makes you the likeliest suspect. Hmm. The likeliest suspect, Francisca. You were the one saying that earlier, Edgeworth. Jeez. Do you have a problem with that? No, but it's not like you to use such vague warning. You're usually a bit more absolute. I'm simply trying to watch out for you. Or is my kindness too hard for you to comprehend? Thank you, but your leniency is unnecessary, for I will prove my innocence soon enough. If I want to continue my investigation, I'll have to break her line of logic fast. Alright, we'll see about that. Rebuttal. Francisca's uh, uh, uh. logic. What? Uh, uh, uh. Let's not complicate things. Go and go with the most obvious conclusion. And that would be, uh, what would that be? Would that, would that be... Will I be saving? Yeah, I think, I think I'm saving. More than likely. Maybe. Possibly. Long, long Shut time. up! No, oh my no, god, why no, do you have to talk no, so no, freaking much? No, 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 no. We're in the middle! There's an end! No! Why can't it be beginning and end? Ah! Well, there's always beginning, middle, and end, isn't there? Whatever. Don't you think you're being a bit rash by simply declaring me the culprit? <laughs> I like you, my affairs to be simple and perfect. I'll show you the meaning of both when I finish this whole thing within three minutes. Hey, you say that like you're cooking a pack of instant noodles. Ah! I would allow even three seconds of useless testimony to be uttered in my presence. Processor <laughs> I almost said personage. Whatever. Personage. <laughs> Whatever, man. I see she hasn't changed a bit, but it won't allow her to send me to prison so easily. The scene of the crime was here in the very lounge of that body was discovered. Why can you- why are you tripping over yourself now? You were doing it fine earlier. I don't know. So tell me, Francisca, do you know all there is to know about the crime scene? I think I'm focusing too much on the accent right now, because I noticed earlier I was kind of- I was kind of going into my Mike Meekins voice a little bit almost, which is not what I want to be doing. So, you remember that- the 
cop from the first game and also yeah, apologize. Trust Justice. me, I remember it way more than I want to. Good. <laughs> I know that I need to no, in order to arrest you. And nothing you know, more. All that you eat need to know. Are you saying that it's more I need to know? Ah why did you whip me, <laughs> sir? Sorry, Scuffy. My hand must have slipped. It would appear that Francisca doesn't have all the facts of the ca this case yet. Why didn't she whip Edgeworth, for Pete's sake? I guess it's because the freaking idiot didn't tell her everything, even though he didn't know everything. <laughs> From the time the victim was seen calling for an attendant until his body was found. What do you mean by seen? Please stop pretending like you don't know. It's insulting. Obviously, I'm talking about how Mr. Hicks was seen calling for an attendant at 5 a.m. And then from the time after that, call into the body was found. The only person in this lounge the entire time was you, Miles Edgeworth. While it's true that I was in the lounge the whole time, that fact alone does not make me the criminal. Objection! Huh. We'll see about that at the conclusion of this investigation. However... There's one thing that you, even you, must admit at this time. This unmistakably makes you the likeliest suspect. Hold it! Hold it! <laughs> Under the circumstances, <laughs> I suppose I can agree that I am the most likely suspect. But I believe in you, sir! I don't think you did it! Ms. Von Karma's gotta believe that too, right? I mean, you or two are like siblings- Ow! Quiet, Scuffy! Even if we have nothing related to my blood, that's no guarantee that he's not a criminal. <laughs> what? You can't talk. Francisca, I thought I was talking this fine. I demand to see some proof that you are not at the guilty party. Not at the guilty party. The likely suspect, huh? What a roundabout in euphemism. Euphemism. Close enough, man. Jeez. You what sounded like you were talking about euthanasia or something. What it would appear. I don't even know what that is, but it would appear that she doesn't yet know. But the new evidence that we acquired and where we acquired it. I'll take care of the gaps in her logic one whole at a time. Okay, let's not complicate things and go with the most obvious. Let's not complicate things and go with the most obvious conclusion. See, the crime was here in the very lounge the body was discovered. Hmm. From the time the victim was seen calling for an attendant until his body was found, the one only person in the line of few miles Edgeworth on the mistake that makes you the likely suspect. Okay. Man, this, one, this one's kind so, of obvious. Seeing the crime was only... So, well, I mean, it is obvious, but what do I present? That's that's what I don't think is obvious That's yet. also pretty obvious. Was there in a seat when we took out... Okay, so that's not it. What is the thing that made you realize that it was in another place? Uh, excuse me, world famous exported for Guinea. This beautiful pattern has been soiled by blood. Well, one of these two, I would assume. Objection! Objection! Wow, we have one brain. Point, point, point. It would appear that you did not have all the information you needed after all. And what does that mean? I found a, a nice piece of evidence. <laughs> I was forced to stop investigating. Found a, a bunch of that... mice. A piece that proves that the body was moved from a different location. That, 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 that. The killer used this suitcase to move the victim's body. Meaning that the real scene of the crime is not this lounge at all. Objection! Now who's the, who's the one who are actually jumping to conclusions? Okay. Excuse me? All you did was find this piece of cloth inside the suitcase. That doesn't prove that the body was moved. It could be that the killer simply chose the suitcase as a good place to hide the cloth. I expected you would come to that conclusion. It would seem I can't escape that easily. You should know better than that! Avon Karma is perfect in every way! Ah, but did you know that the killer definitely wheeled the suitcase around at some point? Objection! As if there is proof of that! Where is the proof that the suitcase has moved around? Uh... I wonder what it could be! Uh... Are you freaking kidding me? no suitcase trail there so then where is the you are literally the most blind person I've ever seen before in my life like what am I supposed to point out right here like there's nothing on here like present the suitcase again huh where's that was my forehead <laughs> where's the proof that the suitcase is moved around 
Uh, there was but a passport inside. It was if the you get to the... under a quarter of your freaking bar left, I'm just telling you. You are not telling me anything. I will be guilty before you do that. I'm going to tell you if you hit under a quarter. I will mute myself if that is the case, son. Or I will not mute myself, but I'll mute my sound if you do say that, so... Alright, go ahead. I'm just- I'm gonna tell them then. I'm gonna mute it right now, so if I start talking over him, I'm gonna go ahead and just like- Why whatever. mute it now? I, I said once you get under right 20. Alright, I'm gonna present the freaking suitcase thing, because that's probably what he wants me to do, right? No. All it takes is wrong. one look at this and you'll have your answer. Indeed, I have my answer now. Obviously wrong. But you are an ignorant whippersnapper! Dang it. Is Are that you? under half? I don't know, husband. Oh, I said brother, a quarter, you moron, not stuff. half! I don't know if he's talking, but I don't know. I don't know if he's saying anything either, but who knows, Obviously really? you didn't mute your microphone because <laughs> you keep stopping whenever I'm talking. I can, just, I can just imagine him just going crazy right now, though. You're the suitcase ended up in the in-play shop. Where did it come from? <laughs> Why the are you laughing? If I just think about the path that killer took. Where, did, where is the proof that the suitcase moved around? The path that he took? The path that he took. It's so stupid! The path that he took. What path did he take? Is this it? Are you freaking serious? You looked at it, it twice! You can see the, the two tracks there! The in front of the elevator? Is that it? Yes! Justin, I'd like to draw your attention to this area here. Okay, so I guess I got it then. You're so stupid! I like how when I was presenting that as an idea, you called me stupid still, so... No, I said you were stupid because you looked away from it. You said, I don't see any sign of it being dragged there, and you can see the sign of it being dragged right there. Oh, jeez. Okay, how crazy was he going, everyone? I honestly... You are so stupid. I honestly don't know if he was just, like, yelling at the top of his lungs the entire time. <laughs> like, I just... I just... I don't know. Just... I, I honestly don't know. Whatever. <laughs> anyway, where is the evidence? Here. Take that. The footprints. The that's track. not footprints, that's a drag mark! I know! I was How did you not see that both times you looked at it? This mark here, wouldn't you say that it looks suspiciously like tracks from two wheels? I suppose. Further, there was also grape juice residue on the wheels of the suitcase. This means that the suitcase containing the victim's body definitely passed through the here. The here. I suppose this makes that the ki this means that the killer then move the victim's body from somewhere else. I'm glad you've come to your senses. Objection! Not so fast, Miles Edgeworth! This hey, that's someone say... else's line. What? That's someone else's line. What's someone else's line? Not so fast. Not so fast? I, I don't know what you're talking about. That still doesn't put you in the clear. That's by a long shot. Alright. Argument. Francisca's logic part two. You prepared yourself and acquired the piggy bank before you hit the plane hit the turbulence. And then when you waited the victim in the lounge, would you beat him to death? Then while you were in the elevator with the everything was multi stuff in the suitcase. What? The plane, <laughs> the plane hit the patch of turbulence and out threw the body from the, the, the suitcase. Yeah, okay. No way out. What? Yeah, you just keep going. Put the suitcase back where you had taken it from. And pretended to be the discoverer of the body. If you say so. Not a not a bad bit of logic for something you thought of on the fly. Just what are you insinuating? Then I will show you exactly how flawed your logic is. No matter how strong of a face you put on, not even you can hide your fears from me. I'll expose the flaws in your logic in one fell swoop. Seriously, there's no point in telling me anything. I'm saving after every friggin' testimony. It would take two seconds to get back to where we were. I mean, geez, man. It's not something I remembered, it's something that I figured out within two seconds. Well, you didn't say that, so I assumed it was something you remembered. I don't- <laughs> I'm not remembering it. I'll tell you if I remember it. If I don't say anything, then it's something I figured out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, like I said, just just tell me next time. Like, it's you not something- You see it clearly right there in the middle of the screen. <laughs> You have had yourself in the well, I said, You were the most. That's why I said out loud, you're the most blind person I've ever seen before in my life. And acquire the piggy bank before the plane hit the turbulence. And how do you suppose I was able to take the piggy bank out of its display case? As I recall, the case was locked. That's easy. If the case was locked, 
you simply had to hit the glass. Like this. Yeah! You shattered my heart of glass! So she wants to talk about the in-flight shop and the and Mr. iFly bank, does she? That's it takes care of how you obtained the butter weapon. The butter weapon? <laughs> no. And then you waited for the victim in the lounge where you beat him to death. Hold it. I thought there wasn't any of the victim's blood found in the lounge. Hmm. I thought you'd say that. What? Did you think I wouldn't have noticed? I think you just found a way to cleverly hide the blood splatter in the lounge. By accidentally spilling grape juice on top of it. Are you accusing me of tampering with the crime scene now? We'll see, won't we? The forensic scientists are here, here hard at work on that. As yeah, we yeah, speak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what do you propose I did after that? Hey, I'm not a trained professional in using a voice like this, so excuse me. Then while you were in the elevator with the victim's body, stuffed into the suitcase... So I put the victim's body in the suitcase, and then... Where was I headed, Francisca? That's pretty obvious. You were bringing it to the first class where you could safely keep... <laughs> <laughs> we're talking about this thing, you know. I'd hardly call it discreet or ordinary. Hm. Annoying bat. Well then, you were intending to leave the it inside the elevator. But unfortunately for you, a wrench was thrown into your plans because... The plane hit that patch of turbulence and out flew the body from the, within the suitcase. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I didn't mean to skip ahead of myself right there. I'm gonna need to let Edgeworth press me real quick. Okay, Edgeworth. Hold it! You experienced turbulence on a flight before. Of course. Many times you get used to it after a while. The patch we hit was especially rough, and I passed out briefly, but only for a second. Good thing it was only for a sec, sir. I'd been a bad if you had really blanked what? out. Did you say I or if? It or would. It did. It apostrophe D. It'd be bad. Yes, indeed. Unfortunately, blanking out is exactly what got me into this mess in the first place. That's enough of your idle chatter. I'm not thrown through. Uh, I'm not through with you yet, Miles Edgeworth. I'm not, I'm not done throwing you, Miles Edgeworth. <laughs> with no way out, you hastily put the suitcase back where you had taken it from. Hold it. Hm. If I really were a criminal, do you really think I would be so easily caught? Objection! You are certainly in the middle of being caught right now. <laughs> he finally got whipped. Well, I have to find a contradiction fast, or I won't have much of my own hide left to save. I have to say, you are looking rather like caught right now. And I'll tell you exactly what you did after that. You loitered around in the lounge. And pretended to be the discoverer at the party. I didn't pretend to be anything. I really was the first to discover the victim's body. I suppose that's true. <laughs> so then, you are yielding to my statements? Don't be foolish. I still insist that you are the killer. But... In that sense, you really were the first to discover the body to be dead. No matter what I say, she seems dead set on making me the out to be the killer. Her logic is reasonably sound, and the large majority of it reflects the truth. But there is one point about it that is not quite right. Alright. You've prepared yourself and acquired the piggy bank for the plane hit turbulence. Uh... Yeah, I think I got it. And, and then you waited for the victim in the lounge, where you beat him to death. Okie dokie then. And while you were in the elevator with the victim's body stuffed in the suitcase, the plane hit that patch of turbulence and out flew the body from within the suitcase. Okay. But no way out, you hastily put the suitcase back where you'd taken it from. And then pretended to be the discoverer of the body. Hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got it. Hmm. The plane hit that patch of turbulence and out flew the body within the suitcase. Well, I'm not sure. I'm not sure I quite understand. Actually, is there something that can prove a thing here? I mean, wait, 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 wait. Okay, was there something weird here? Oops. Wait, no, there's nothing wrong here. Okay, let me read this again. You repair yourself and quietly. Okay. And you waited for the victim's body. Okay, okay, so that that matches up then. And while you were in the elevator with the victim's body, some the suitcase. Hmm. Uh. Ah. Wait, what was the first one again? You prepared yourself and acquired the piggy banks before the plane hit the turbulence. 
Hmm, I'm actually a little bit stumped right now. And while you were in the elevator with the victim's body, are you say this one's easy again? I think I know what it is, yeah. Hold it! You want me to tell you my thoughts, or do you want to try to figure it out on your own? Uh, You don't remember remember this, do you? No. I figured this out by thinking about it. Let me think for a second. Let me look at my evidence again. So let's see... Refueling in Zengfa... Miss Meal's testimony. Is any of this thing related? Mr. Acme Hits was there in the sea when the thing happened. Okay. So... When did we hit the turbulence in? Then we waited for the victim in the... No, we hit the victim in the suitcase playing the The turbulence was after the... after Zheng Fa. That's what I thought. When we out, you hastily put the suitcase back from where you'd taken it from. Lord, me, yeah. Uh, pretend to be discovered the body. Why? 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 I'm so confused. I am so lost. Well, I'll let you... I'll let you try to figure it out. For now. Mm, playing hit the badge of turbulence out of the... Where are we in this episode? Okay, we're still... I'm not like I was going to end it right now, anyway. I'm just, I'm just curious where we're at. Uh... Really, the problem with not doing this all in one sitting, really, is because you forget key parts of what yeah. happened. That is true. But I do actually remember everything that happened yesterday, because it was yesterday that we did it. Yeah, I mean, I should remember, too, in that case, shouldn't I? Five, six, six, Apparently two. not, because you, for you forgot something you read five minutes ago. I must have, I guess. I'm just looking at all this stuff just I know. to see if there's This has here. nothing to do with what I just said. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying that. I'm just looking at this in case you were wondering. Just to see if any of this evidence might match up with something. It was taken out of this display case in the in-flight shop after the turbulence. After the turbulence. Okay. That sounds... There you go. That's what I got. Because you remember the thing broke itself out during the turbulence. Yeah. And then you waited for... Okay, wait. Okay, where was it? You prepare yourself and acquire the got painting for the plane. Gotcha. So what was yep. that first one then? Objection! It broke itself out during the turbulence. The fact that you took this piece of evidence into account in your testimony is to be commended. Your legal prowess is certainly something to be feared. Evidence and logic. Essential tools for those that was it stranded stand in the courtroom must yeah, then to okay. master. <laughs> I've been stranded in the courtroom before. <laughs> <laughs> what if there what if there was fake piece of evidence? <laughs> Can't stop laughing. Piece of evidence thrown into the mix. A fake? This Mr. I Fly Piggy Bank is just such a fake. What? It's just yeah. such a fake, it is not the real murder weapon. Yep. What? That's what we found out last time. The timing... It was not the real murder weapon? Yep. What the heck is the murder weapon? I think we... that's one of your pieces of logic is murder weapon question mark or something like that, maybe. So we haven't gotten a murder weapon yet then? Right. I don't think so. The timing of when the bank was taken from the shop is important, and it was taken after the turbulence had occurred. But then what about the blood on the bank? What do you make of that? I assume it was added after the murder when the killer fabricated this weapon. Looking at it this way, the killer basically did three things after the turbulence. Oh. After exiting the elevator. The killer brought the suitcase to the shop and left it there. Then the killer proceeded to pick the bank up from off the floor. And took it to fabricate a fake murder weapon by hitting the victim in the, on the head. Finally, the victim's wallet was planted on my personage. Nope. In my pocket, to be precise. I've only said it 15 times at this point. I, I guess I just give up. I can't... I can't break habits that easily, man, especially when I've said this word millions of times in the past. Everything was done so that I would be framed for the murder of Mr. Acby Hicks. You there! Yes, ma'am! Other than the piggy bank, was there anything else resembling a murder weapon found? We didn't find anything in this lounge or in the shop that could be used as one, ma'am. Most of the items that could be, have been used were broken during the turbulence. And the remaining items all tested negative for any trace of blood. I see. Well, in Miles Edgeworth, it appears your stall tactics are at an end. But it's possible that it's just hidden somewhere, sir. Like that, uh, you know, that one thing, that room right behind you, perhaps, that you, for some reason, haven't looked into yet, for whatever reason. Eek! If the criminal had wanted to hide the weapon in the safer place, I think the weapon would have been hidden in the same place as the body cloth. 
Yes, the body claw. <laughs> I think I said bloody cloth or whatever. Exactly what I was thinking. Because the cloth was hidden inside the suitcase. It signals to me that the killer had not prepared a more secure place to hide the evidence. Which means that the real murder weapon is either still in the murderer's personage. Nope. Or is still at the real crime scene. There is one more possibility. And that would be... That the piggy bank is in fact the real weapon. But didn't we just say... Let me finish! The killer took the bank from the discipline... <laughs> display case? What? The what? <laughs> the discipline case. By opening the lock on the display case door. And it was at the time that the glass pane in the door was broken. I say that's a pretty reasonable line of reasoning, wouldn't you say? Yeah, it's a particular line of reasoning. I agree. Let's say... Let's see. So that <laughs> means that the killer had the key to the display case. Stop doing this voice. Francisca, the person you're talking about... Not so fast, I'm not finished. The person I'm not I'm talking about also committed another sin. The person I'm not sin. talking about also committed a sin. She took the captain and granted you permission to conduct your investigation. Yes, it is a sin of lying. Dot, dot, dot. Speaking of which, I recall that you also wish to speak with her. Yes. Very well, permission granted. But only if I can sit in on your interrogation. Do we understand each other? I have no intention of interrogating her. But you are welcome to accompany me if you so wish. Mr. Nero is in the flight attendant's room. Let's go. Let's -a go. Let's -a go. How are you doing? Mr. Nero is in the flight attendant's room. Let's move. Let's that blue door over there leads to the flight attendant's room, Miss Sir. <laughs> All right, let's go see what Mr. Nero has to say for herself. Miss Sir. What? You said Miss Sir. Mister? <laughs> oh my god. I, say, I really say Mister. Yes. <laughs> it's the blue room over there, Mister. <laughs> oh my gosh, please. <laughs> Didn't know anyway. Edgeworth was a transsexual now. <laughs> if you could please be patient just a little longer. Alright. Hurry up and show it like a strike of thunder. It's as fast as lightning. If and believe me, I should probably read the rest of the first part of this again. If I could, <laughs> if I would. And believe me, I should probably read this again. You hurry and solve your murder, because it wasn't skipping ahead, so I was just pressing A the whole time. <laughs> if you do not, how am I supposed to have my cargo return to me? If you please be patient for a little longer, Mr. LeBlanc. Okay, that was it. I, I'd like to see LeBlanc and Francisca have a conversation. That'd probably be pretty interesting anyway. So where are we? All right, the end of the episode. <laughs> so I say on the next exciting episode, everyone, we're gonna go, go to the flight room. attendant's room. We're gonna go and see a flight attendant that I believe is the murderer personally, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Who knows? And I, he he seems to think that he seems to think that the other person should be the victim or not a victim. <laughs> Dude, I already <laughs> told you I know who it was. I remember the end of this case. So then hint, hint, nudge, nudge, then? <laughs> no. Well, either way, I, though, I mean... I'm being vague, as vague as I can be about it. Regardless, I really don't think, uh... I don't think... Oh, the, And I didn't so say that I thought she was. I thought... I said, if you think she's suspicious, then she's suspicious, too. I don't think she is. She's too ditzy and dumb to be that kind of person, really. I don't know. Unless it's an act, but, I mean, I, I doubt it for some reason. <laughs> Da daughter of my mentor, Manfred von Palmer, prosecutor, came here on assignment. Age 19, gender female. I'm so surprised she's freaking 19. She does not seem that young, but go figure. <laughs> 32, male homicide detective at the local precinct in charge of the initial investigation. Anyway, that's he it. He almost said precinct that time. Or did I? <laughs> anyway, we'll you know, see you I all. I hate it when you say that. <laughs> Good.